Simple Cafe E Illustrated Tutorials for Your Electronics. Hey there, got one of these? Sweet. Let's get it set up to your TV. Now in this presentation, we'll be using a mini amplifier. The setup is just the same. This is just a mini version, which the benefit is that it takes up less space and will save you some money. And they'll still work with any passive speaker. Plus, they'll let you play your phone's music through your louder speakers. I mean, in case like me, you've gotten used to those little Bluetooth speakers. Okay, on to the setup. First things first, so I'm not wasting your time, make sure your connectors say audio or line out or something like AV output. Otherwise, getting your TV out to any speakers is not gonna happen. Oh yeah, and remember to also look on your TV's edges for those inputs. Alright then, make sure you find audio out or aux ports. So these are what we'll be using in this video. If your TV has optical or HDMI arc, find tutorials for those right up here. Now just be careful, seeing these connectors is great, but you gotta make sure that they don't say in. Most of them will have an in, but what you're looking for is for it to also say audio out because in is going to send audio signals into your TV from something like a game console or DVD player. But what we're doing is trying to send audio out to your amplifier and speakers. Okay, let's make a quick checklist, make sure you got everything you need. A speaker, of course. Speaker wire to connect them to your amplifier. Okay, third thing we need here for this setup is the amplifier, of course, and finally, an audio cable to connect to your TV, be it aux or RCA. Okay, got everything? Perfect. If not, you can have a look in the description to order what you're missing. By the way, if you're enjoying the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe. That way, when you're looking for your next one, my videos are more likely to show up at the top of your list. All right then, let's get set up. We'll put our amplifier here, as for our speakers, we're actually going to take them from this stereo here, which the stereo works just fine, except it has no inputs for our TV audio. So here's the back of our amplifier. First, we'll plug in our speakers. Have a look at our speaker terminals. Just to be clear, there are four entries here, but we divide them into two, red and black for one speaker. Yep, just like your speaker wire. If your cables on your speaker wire aren't black and red, no worries. There will be one with a black line and you can consider that one to go into the black terminal. Okay, our speakers are connected now and yours probably already were, so thanks for hanging in there. A like for you. Okay, so let's see how we connect our TV into the amplifier, which can have several of these inputs. So which one do we plug into? Well, it honestly doesn't even matter. So long as it says input, you're all good. The names are only there to describe the different channels, since on the front, you're going to have to choose which channel you want to listen to. We're going to be using AUX1. If your amp has a single AUX port, you can use that too, no problem. Okay now, the moment of truth. Does your TV have the capability of sending audio out? Well here we see some RCA ports, great. Oh, wait a second though, these say in. Again, we need it to say out, so let's look for where it says that. Here it is, an aux entry for audio out. But wait, weren't we using RCA? Yes, but we can use an RCA to aux cable. These can be really handy, so I definitely recommend having one. Alright then, here we go. Let's go power our amp. After all, that's the purpose of these things, to give our passive speakers the power they need to amplify your TV sound. If you don't hear anything straight away, make sure your amp is set to the channel you're plugged into on the back, aux1 in our case. And finally, if you still don't hear anything, it could be that you just need to go to your TV's audio settings to select external audio. I have a playlist to guide you through that for the different TV brands, just in case you need further help. Alright, now I hope you get to go and enjoy your setup. Au revoir.